the standardization of sulfuric acid, H2SO4, uh, using baking soda, sodium bicarbonate. Um, here's how that's going to work. Number one, let's start with safety. We do have sulfuric acid, uh, which is going to be a very strong skin irritant, uh, eye irritant. You're going to make sure you wash your hands uh, with soap and water, lots of water if it gets on you. Um, we also have bromphenol uh, blue that we're going to be using in here. Um, which is an indicator made in a flammable solution. Uh, so we need to be careful with that also. Okay, uh, so the purpose of this lab, let's start here. Um, we are going to calculate the molarity of an own, unknown solution of H2SO4, sulfuric acid. Meaning, uh, so far, we've always been given the molarity. And in this lab, we won't be given the molarity. So we need to calculate that. Now, again, and it, it tells you right here, you're going to need two things. You're going to need moles and you're going to need liters of sulfuric acid, H2SO4. Okay. Um, I'll put that right up here, H2SO4, just so we don't forget. So that's what we want to know. Okay. Um, we're given this. We're given this balanced equation right here. We'll come back. We'll talk about that. That's something that you're going to need to know how to balance. It's very important. You're going to need to know those molar ratios. So we're going to have to balance that <clears throat> before we do anything else. Let's look at the procedure. We'll do the lab. We'll come back and we'll look at uh, the data analysis. So in the procedure, it says you're going to add about one gram of the sodium bicarbonate to a 250 milliliter beaker. Okay. Now it says record the exact mass. So if it's 1.1, if it's 0.9, whatever it is, make sure you record that exact mass. You want to get pretty close to one, uh, but you don't have to spend that much time uh, getting exact. If you're a little bit above or a little bit below, just make sure you record the exact mass uh, that you're using. Um, you're going to add about 100 milliliters of water. Again, not an exact measurement. Uh, it's just enough to dissolve that um, sodium bicarbonate. <clears throat> and you're just doing that in a beaker. You're going to add a squirt of the bromphenol blue indicator. So, so far we've been using phenolphthalein in a lot of these uh, labs. Now we're going to use bromphenol blue. Same idea. It's an indicator that changes the sh uh, um, identifies a shift in pHs uh, during the titration. It's going to start and be a blue, uh, violet color, a dark color, may look almost black, um, but it's a bluish violet uh, color to start. Um, you're going to fill the burette. Okay, with the H2SO4. So if we look at the setup, a visual, a visual of the setup, if we have our burette and then we have our uh, Erlenmeyer, in the burette is the H2SO4. We're looking for its molarity and we're going to figure out how many milliliters we add. In the Erlenmeyer, okay, is going to be one gram of the sodium carbonate. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, sodium bicarbonate, um, about 100 milliliters of water, and the indicator, the bromphenol blue, okay? Um, so that's the setup of the lab. Some data we need to record. We're going to need to know the mass uh, of my sodium bicarbonate. Okay, it should be about one gram. You want to record the exact mass. You're going to record how many milliliters you titrate uh, into that uh, Erlenmeyer, okay, of the uh, sulfuric acid. And then what the goal is, is we want to calculate the molarity of the H2SO4. So again, Looking forward, and I'm actually going to scroll down here in the calculations, keeping this in your head the whole time. You need moles of H2SO4, and you need liters of H2SO4. Okay? Um, let's go ahead. Let's do the lab. We'll come back. We'll look at uh, the data that we got, and then we'll go ahead and calculate.
records. Hopefully you enjoyed watching that lab. Let's now go through, analyze this data and see what we can come up with. Let's talk about what we found out in the lab. We're gonna use um, exactly one gram as our amount of sodium bicarbonate we put in. Uh, and we are going to use about 27, not about, we're gonna say 27 milliliters of sulfuric acid were titrated in, okay? Again, with our goal being to determine the molarity of that uh, H2SO4. Let's start here. We need to talk about the balanced equation. In order, uh, I'm gonna change the color so we can see it better. In order to balance this equation, the molar ratio is gonna be one, uh, one, two, one, two, two, in order to balance that equation properly, okay? That will come into play uh, later when we start looking at um, the molar conversions. So let's shift our focus down to this question that we kind of started with, okay? What is the molarity of the H2SO4? So we need two things. We need the moles of H2SO4 and we need the liters of H2SO4. I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna take my data, put this in a better spot that we can utilize Maybe shrink it up a little bit. Okay, so now we have that centralized here. Let's clean this up. Let's focus on two things. That and that. Okay, so this will be the first thing we do. This will be the second thing we do. And then we'll simply divide those two numbers, and that will give us our molarity. So first off, if we want moles of H2SO4, uh, let's just go directly to our mole map. And let's say, okay. I want moles of H2SO4. That's what I want. Well, what do I know about H2SO4? There's all the information I have. The only information I know about H2SO4 is I know milliliters of H2SO4. Okay. Um, and this is 27 milliliters. All right, so we're going to go here. We're going to go here. We're going to use this equality, and we're going to use this equality, where it has x moles. Where do we get the x from? We get it from the molarity. Oh, wait, we don't have the molarity. So we can't do that conversion. We're stuck. Okay, well, that doesn't do us much good. What's the other thing we need to get? We need to get our liters. Well, that I can get. Okay, I'm gonna erase this. We can't get that yet. We're gonna come back to how we're gonna get that. Let's look at this bottom portion though. And let's see that we can go really easily from milliliters of H2SO4 to liters of H2SO4. So let's back this out. Okay, and let's simply, this is our second portion here. We're going to say 27 milliliters of H2SO4, placeholder, and the equality we're using is right here. Uh, sorry, whoa, sorry about that. Uh, we are going to cancel milliliters. We're going to go to liters. Okay. I'm simply going to shift that decimal and I'm going to get 0.027. Liters of H2 SO4. Okay. So first step done. Well, technically second step, but the first thing we were able to accomplish. <clears throat> All right. So check mark. Great. We did that. We have liters. And if we're kind of looking forward, our end the answer is 0.027 liters. This is what we're solving for. We have part of the equation. We still need to get moles. So let's go back to our mole map. Let's erase what we did. We don't really need this anymore because we know we can't get there. We got a roadblock. This is a roadblock right here. We don't have it. We need this. We need moles of H2SO4. Let's back this out all the way, a little foreshadowing. 
Okay, the only other piece of data we have, we've already used, I'll cross this off for now. We've already used this. We This, this means nothing to us right now because we're solving for that. So the only thing left is this piece of data, which puts us over here. One gram of sodium bicarbonate. And that is how we're going to get to moles of sulfuric acid. Awesome. Okay, so let's just do that then. Uh, let's clean this up a little bit. Again, we're looking right now at the, the top portion of the equation. And we're going to start with one gram of sodium bicarbonate. We're going to first use this equality here. Um, and we're going to cancel x grams to one mole. Where do we get the x from? Remember, that is our, as it states right here, we're going to use the periodic table. We're going to find the molar mass of sodium bicarbonate. Okay. When you calculate the molar mass, you have one sodium, one hydrogen, one carbon, three oxygens. That comes out to be uh, 84 grams per mole. So it's going to be 84 right there. Okay. So we've used this equality. And now we move on to this equality here. And now is when we're going to have to use our molar ratios. So let's just set this up first. I'm actually going to zoom this out. Just focus on this for now. We want to cancel. I don't want sodium bicarbonate. I want sulfuric acid. Remember, this is what we're looking for. We're looking for sulfuric acid. So I got to get rid of sodium bicarbonate. So let's do that. Moles of Na CO3. I'm sorry. Um, I, sorry, I missed a, I missed an H in there. My goodness, what am I doing? I missed an H in there, and I want to go to moles H2SO4. All right, so that's what I want to go to. Where do I get those numbers from? Well, I'm gonna kind of have to zoom out here. I'm gonna be getting those numbers from way up here, and I'm gonna look at H2SO4. I'm gonna bring that understood one down there. I'll switch colors, and then I'm looking for sodium bicarbonate, which is a 2, and I'm going to get that there. So I have a 1 and a 2. A 1, a 2. I run that math. That comes out to be 0 0.0059 moles of H2SO4. Okay. I then can put that number here, 0 0.0059 moles. I then can uh, divide those two numbers, and I get 0.218 molar H2SO4. I'll back this out so we can see everything. I'll back it out further in a second. So <clears throat> now what the answer you should have gotten is the, the um, theoretical was actually, and I'll change colors here, um, theoretical is 0.25 molar. That's the theoretical. Okay. So if you're going to do um, a percent error calculation, you should have gotten 0.25. Okay. You actually got, well, in this situation, you got point, um 218. Okay, so let me pause for a second and then I'll go on and explain that. Remember, this is where you're getting way up here. This is where you're getting those two numbers from. So if we do a really quick um, percent error equation, our actual was uh, 0.25 molar. Our experimental um, and I know theoretical actual uh, should have, you can use multiple terms for that. Our experimental um, was 0.218 
So 0 0.218 uh, minus 0.25 over 0.25. Multiply that by 100. As you, again, your percent error equation, if your teacher is asking for that, and you should get an experimental error of 12.8%. And that, Pirates, is how you determine the molarity of sulfuric acid. Hope you enjoyed.